So this is my review of the brand new JBL Flip 4. Well, it's been out a couple of weeks. I'm a little bit late to the party. Um, but this is my take on what is... Well, JBL saying it's a 20% improvement over the Flip 3. And um, I don't know exactly how they do their scoring, but um, overall I kind of, kind of agree. Um, if you kind of look at most of the reviews... Uh, it would seem like a really, really huge upgrade, and um, in some ways it is, but it, it, it's not all win-win, uh, so to speak. So basically, what's in the box? You'll get your JBL Flip 4, and you'll find it's uh, ever so slightly bigger than the Flip 3. 515 grams, 450 grams. What's new, Bluetooth 4.2, Bluetooth 4.1. Data rates are uh, much faster in 4.2. I think the most interesting thing about uh, 4.2 is that Bluetooth now supports IPv6, and which of course is gonna be all the new IP addresses. And the interesting thing is that allows for direct connection over the internet. In other words, you no longer need your router to do any uh, NAT networking. It's it's there may be privacy issues, but it's interesting. I'm not saying they're going to do that. it's going to make a huge difference in the speaker, but you could see features being added where it's uh, you know because it can have direct connection over the internet that it, it it's going to be proved to be interesting. So you know that's one of the differences. The major major differences, of course, are that although the drivers are still 40 millimeter in both of them, the passive radiators are the same size. They are new drivers and they are new passive radiators. Um, and when you hear the sound, you can really hear the difference. Although, obviously some of that is gonna be down to the processing, but I mean, it's pretty clear that it um, there is a lot more to going on in the bass. But quickly, just to keep going over the features, your controls are basically the same, except that now you have a play button where you have the phone button and when you go into the app, you can change that button to work your Siri or your Google Assistant. And it's um, kind of useful if you remember to set up the phone as hands-free, because otherwise there's not a lot of point in going to your speaker and then still having to read your phone, is it? So set your phone up for um, hands-free and then kind of useful because unless you're going to really want to use it as a play button. So what else have we got? We've got what they're now calling Connect Plus. On the older uh, speakers, in fact, for now, all of the older JBL speakers, it was JBL Connect, which, although originally they said you can connect three, you could never do that, you can only connect two. So you can connect them two in, these are the flip threes, the old flip threes, sorry. Well, <laughs> there's only one flip three, isn't it? Yeah, because it's now the flip four. So on the older model, um, you could connect to party or stereo, because with Connect Plus, you can now connect up to 100 speakers. But the flip side is that if you connect to 100, they're all gonna be party mode. If you want to use them in stereo, you are still stuck with two speakers. So two if in stereo, but 100 if it's party mode, obviously. That's kind of a down, I mean, downside. You could imagine if they could have supported um, stereo, like 50, <laughs> one and 50 on the other, yeah, it would have been fun, but that's, the basic difference between um, Connect Plus and Connect 100, whereas two. But again, if you're connecting the Flip 4 in stereo, it's still, still uh, two speakers. You can now drop this into up to one meter of water. So you can actually submerge these, but you can't submerge them over one meter and even one meter uh, is up to 30 minutes. After that, it's gonna start damaging the speaker. The problem is, they don't float. So if you drop it in the swimming pool, it's going straight to the bottom. So you're gonna to need to be in the shallow end because if you're in the, in the deep end and you just drop it in, it's going to the bottom. So you're gonna to need to get it back out pretty quick or it's gonna be damaged. The other thing is, it's not like, well, I can drop it into the shallow end and it will still sound good. It's not, it's gonna be <laughs> pretty muffled. It's not gonna sound great. So yeah, that's good if you accidentally drop it in the water, into your pool, into the sea, I don't know, whatever. But other than that, I don't really see that that's a great benefit. I mean, the old ones were splash proof, 
the new ones can be submerged, but you're not going to keep it submerged. So yeah, it's against an accidental drop then, that's a big improvement. The frequency response. So flip three, that's a flip four by the way, <laughs> getting muddled up here. So right, so the flip three had a, had a rated frequency response of 85 hertz to 20 kilohertz. The flip four is 70 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So that's a significant difference, which you do hear uh, in the low end. So much better for bass and all round body that that gives the sound. Um, so that's a big improvement. They are both 16 watts in total. Each driver is eight watts. That hasn't changed. The battery hasn't changed. 3000 milliamp hours, 3.7 volts. That's still the same. But you can now get about four hours on maximum volume with the Flip 4, whereas you were getting about three, three and a half hours maximum volume with the Flip 3. According to JBL's ratings, with mixed use, about 12 hours now with the Flip 4, about 10 hours with the Flip 3. So again, uh, improvements there. Improvements in volume, it goes a little bit louder, not a lot, but it definitely is louder. Actually, you've got to be careful because when you hear some of these A-B comparisons and they, they leave the phone on the same setting, for instance, if I'm on 70% and switch between the speakers, the Flip 4 is considerably different. In other words, the volume response isn't particularly linear. So whereas at maximum volume, there's about a three quarters of a decibel advantage to the Flip 4, about 70% is about one and a half decibels. So it's quite significant. If you're doing AB, you're gonna, it's gonna be even more advantage if you think, oh, I'm listening to that, then I listen to that. You've got to adjust for the difference in how the volume curve um, is responding because that is different on the Flip 4. It's worth noting that the, it's a five volt, obviously, USB charging, uh, micro charging USB, but they say the amperage that it will take is unlimited. So the higher your the amp, the amp output on your charger, the quicker it will charge. I believe at one amp, it's about three and a half hours charging is what it's rated at. So like on a, on a two amp, um, it's gonna be a lot quicker. I find the, the pricing is, uh, is quite interesting. So in the UK, that's 119 pounds. In the US, it's $99. So on exchange rate, $99 should be about 80 pound-ish, 85 pound-ish. So that's a hefty premium in the UK. Um, given that you can get the flip in the UK for about 75 quid, in the US it's um, the flip three, I'm sorry, you can get for about 75 quid. It means in the UK, two flip threes are 150 quid compared to one flip four, 119 pounds. So if you're only ever gonna get one uh, flip four, you've got a question to ask yourself, am I better getting the a pair of flip threes? The big difference being that you can then play them in stereo and it's gonna go a bit louder. Although sound wise, two flip threes and a flip four is not a huge difference. Um, than the actual sound because the, the extra bass and body that you get from two flip threes is about the same as the flip four. Something I should have mentioned about the, the Connect Plus is that if you do build up a collection or you have a collection of JBL speakers, the Extreme, JBL Extreme is gonna be upgraded to Connect Plus. The JBL Charge 3 is gonna be upgraded to to Connect Plus, but not, not none of the other speakers. So. Something to bear in mind between flip threes and flip floors, if moving ahead, is that if you get a, a flip three now, you will never be able to connect it to a, a Connect Plus speaker. Um, and it's not clear to me if it's gonna be backwards compatible. So when the, the extremes and the, and the Charge 3 become uh, Connect Plus, um, it's not clear to me whether you will then still be able to connect your Flip 3 because they're saying the Flip 4 as a Connect Plus won't backwards, be backwards compatible with the Flip 3. So I'm not quite sure. So that's something to think about if you are humming and hawing between the two because 
they are still selling the two, the flip three and the flip floor alongside. It's not like the flip floor for now is replacing the flip three. Now I see that a lot with cameras now. In the, in the old days, they bring out a new model and they did immediately, it, that would be a replacement for the old model. Now they're getting clever, still carrying on with the older model, but pricing the, the new model a little bit higher. So, um, yeah, so that's something to consider. So sound wise, uh, I've got to say <laughs> for its size, um, it is quite amazing, really, when you go back to a few years ago, what you would get for something this size. So, improvements, uh, improvement-wise, you're getting a, a much more dynamic sound compared to the Flip 3. You're getting a higher, high end, a little bit over-egged, um, but it's going to sound clearer, but the bass is going to be fuller, there's more resonance, resonance um it's gonna just feel a little bit more like a chance three than an old flip three because there's gonna be a bit more body to the sound but i don't think that's going to be to everybody's liking i have noticed it can be a little bit wearing at the end of the day it's only a little speaker and there's only so much you can do that with the law of physics it's the sort of speaker that for the first half hour is really exciting and is really in your face um and gives a good impression but can be a little bit tiring after that. And I've kind of found myself going between the Flip 4 and the Flip 3 because it, after the first half hour or so, depending on what you're listening to, obviously, it becomes, it's, the Flip 3 is a little bit more mellow. So um, I'm really in two minds about, um, I, th I can see for most people, they're gonna say, it just sounds better. You're gonna have a quick listen and, and it just sounds better. But in the same way as people still buy tube amps um, because they can't really handle the aggressive sound of a, of a modern amp, um, there may be for some people that decision to make, especially given that the, the Flip 3, you can get, you know, for nearly the same price, two of them, and they're, they're still selling it. It's cheaper than even if you just buy one. When I'm using the Connect Plus uh, to join up two of them, it's a little bit different than the, than the old ones, than the old Flip 3, how it works. Obviously, you've got to download the JBL Connect app to your phone. If you want to go to stereo, having said that, uh, you can simply go to party mode by simply, now by default, you'll turn on and the JBL Connect light will not be on. If I then want to go to party mode, I then turn on the, uh, the Connect button. Now the thing is, when I used to do that with a Flip 3, you didn't hear any sound till both speakers were connected and then you know both connected. Now it doesn't work like that. Now it gives you sound to tell me I've turned on the feature, but it doesn't tell me when they've actually uh, synced up. So if I just turn one speaker on now, I've, it's already told me that, but that's telling me nothing. I, I can see by the light I've, got, I've turned it on. I don't know when they're paired. If I turn, put the second one on, there's nothing. Until I start playing, um, I don't know they're synced up. And I've also noticed there is a, t a couple of seconds, it's not huge, but there is a time lag as soon as I start playing um, for the speakers. So I start playing and the first speaker will, will come on and then about a second, two seconds, three seconds later, they both kick in. Didn't get that time lag uh, on the Flip 3. So that's a little bit different. I can see if you've got a hundred speakers um, that makes a bit more sense. You don't want them, even if you hear the noise, you don't know which speaker uh, is telling you it's now connected. So there's the thing, you've got to just assume they're connected and, and you don't find out until you actually start playing. So yeah, a little bit messy. You know, again, great feature when you got when you can connect to all your old ones. So moving ahead when you can, you can get the extreme, the Charge 3, whatever other new models they come out with and they'll all connect. That's going to be great. I don't know if they're going to uh, upgrade the stereo. It'd be nice if you could have more than two speakers in stereo. But yeah, that's a big, that's a, well, for me, it's a big change in how you can use the Connect because you're never quite sure if they're all connected or not until you actually hear the sound uh, come on. So I just turn those off. I've noticed that playing them in stereo is slightly louder than playing in party mode and sounds way better. Party mode to me, with just two, admittedly, I don't know if more is going to sound any different. But two, it's it's a little bit, bit, little bit hard. But as soon as you go to stereo, you do get 
a nice a nice flavour to the sound. You, know, you do get the body there, and it's about three quarters of a decibel louder. But as with Connect, Plus, uh, the Connect on the old ones, I found with all the JBL speakers using Connect or Connect Plus, there is a loss of treble when you connect them that way. More than made up for in the increase in the body and the increase in in volume and the rest of it, you don't really notice it. But it's certainly there if you listen for it. There is a drop off in the high end. So I guess what you really want to know is how do they sound? So I'm going to give you um, quick comparison clips. I'm going to start with one flip four, because I think the best way, you know, when you're listening via anything else other than the actual speaker, the only real way to know what it's going to sound like um, is comparing it to something you know. So assuming you've got a flip three, this is uh, a quick comparison between the flip four and the flip three. Now, um, this is at 70% volume, uh, according to my phone. But um, I have had to normalize the two tracks because as I said, the analyzer is a big advantage to the flip four because of the difference in volume. So they're both recorded at 70%, but then normalized to be this, but an equal volume, which is this clip. I remember you, you left my feeling With you high is all I'm feeling Remember how we felt alive I remember you, you make me stronger Can't go without any much longer Remember, remember Remember you, you left my feeling With you high is all I'm feeling Remember how we felt alive I remember you, you make me stronger Can't go without any much longer Remember, remember So, yeah, I mean, there's no doubt it's, it sounds better. It's just that you you might find that wearing over a period of time. I did. I, I have done. I uh, found it a little, a little bit too much for me. But uh, that's absolutely down to your own personal taste. There's no doubt it's not completely natural sounding. That treble is very obviously um, boosted by, you know, not... It, it, it's a small speaker. I mean, for the speaker, it sounds great. And uh, if you always turn your treble up anyway, on your equalizer or whatever, um, the, the job's already done for you. There's no doubt the bass is a huge improvement. There, there's a resonance to the bass. It's, it's fuller. You know, it, 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 it really helps bring out the music. Quite honestly, it's more fun, isn't it? The other comparison is what they do at maximum volume. So, you know, the, fl the Flip 3 drastic reduction in bass um, and increase in distortion when you're playing it at maximum. So how does it compare now to the Flip 4 at maximum? So this clip is both speakers recorded at maximum volume.
Also, a comparison of one flip four versus two flip fours. Um, just how much of a difference. So you may or may not hear what I hear, um, and that's a reduction in the treble. So this is one flip four versus two flip fours recorded at 70% volume. In, I can tell you, in the real world, it's, it's huge. and uh, But I, that's always been the case to me. That's why I always buy these in pairs, because that is when you it, you really get the the, the, you know, the, the the flavor of the music. You get the body of the music. You can separate the speakers out. Um, it's just, just worth noting, though, although it's cylindrical, if you're used to a UE boom or something like that, these are not 360. These, these are directional. And for me, especially if I'm playing stereo, that's um, what I want, especially if on the beach or something. And you're trying not to annoy too many people around you. Um, I do prefer, prefer the direction it's, it's hitting me, but obviously that's again a matter of taste. It's just worth noting because some people you send the UE boom and think you're going to do that, and of course you're not because you're blocking one of the passive radiators, and um, you're not going to get sand out the other side either. But party mode versus the stereo mode um, again at seventy percent. The other interesting one, my last little uh, clip, and I am going to upload um, longer clips in, in some other videos, but um, I do tend to ramble on, <laughs> I don't want this to go on for two hours. I'm going to just have um, play you a quick clip of how it's the difference between two flip threes in stereo uh, played at 70% and one flip four at 70%. Um,
I was quite surprised actually how well the Flip 4 actually sounds in comparison um, to two Flip 3s. I actually thought there would be a big win for the Flip Police, but obviously the big win is if you hear it in person and you're getting the stereo and you can separate them out and of course it's going to go louder because you've now got, um, well you can reckon about 20% isn't it, With two, uh, when you double up your, uh, your, your watts there. The Flip 4 <laughs> holds up pretty well, I mean, but that the, the bigger base is still bigger base because at the end of the day that's not going to go any deeper because there's two of them um, it's just going to be a bit, a bit fuller so but it's still it's still I think a, a legitimate question at the UK pricing do you want two flip threes or one flip four if that literally is your only budget just remember moving forward they're not going to connect to any of the other speakers possibly they may still connect to the the cut to the JBL Charge 3 and the Extreme, but they're saying you can't on the Flip 4 because it's Connect Plus. So when they're when they are uh, Connect Plus, um, I'm not sure if that's been answered yet. Anyway, so that's my review. JBL say it's about a 20% uh, better speaker, and I would say so because although this, the actual improvement in sound is a lot more than that, I do find it a bit over egged and aggressive. Um, and a little bit tiring. Would I, if I get, would I have two JBL charge or two flip threes or two flip fours? I'd, yeah, definitely have two flip fours because I'm not going to listen to it for that long. Um, and when when I have when I've got two of those in stereo, it sounds it really sounds great for the size. I have to say, one is tiring, but two there's more flavour to the sound, um, and I do really, really, really uh, like it. I would if if you're th if you've got the, the budget um, and you're thinking about it, I would definitely get a pair of these. It makes a huge difference. So yeah, that's my review of the Flip Four, and um, it's definitely um, a big upgrade. But there are some questions depending on your budget to ask yourself.